Okay, so in the last video, I showed how to download free price data from Dukas Copy. In this video, I will check the data for any errors. This is very important because the data is the basis for our backtests and therefore for our strategies. And to check the data, I always use my own tool, the data editor. You can look it up on my website, but of course you can use any other software or you can just do it manually by scrolling through the chart. Okay, so I will just start the data editor by drag and drop it on the custom symbol. If it's your first startup, you need to enter a license key and select use in input below. But I have already done that, so I can use the automatic verification. Okay, so I just press OK and the data editor is ready. So now let's just jump to the first date of the data by pressing the position one key on the keyboard. And we can see the first date is in June 2021. Okay, next I will set two vertical lines by entering two times. Um, this helps me to orient myself very quickly. And I make sure that the distance between midnight and both of the lines are equal and so I can see very fast if a hour is missing at the end of the day or at the start of the day. And the best way to see this is by looking at the weekends because Forex market is 24 hours. So if you have a shift in time, you will notice that on the weekend. If for example, the last hour on Friday is missing or the first hour or two on a Monday. Okay, now we can just look through the data by scrolling or we can use the automatic scroll function of the data editor by just pressing start scroll or by hitting the spacebar. We can stop again and start. And you can see it's very slow. So we can increase the speed and we also can increase the step size and we can just let it run and look for any errors. Let me just pause here. So this is another weekend and we can see everything is fine. Uh, my broker does not have Sunday bars. So this is what I want to see on every weekend because then I know the time is correct and there is no shift in time, no errors in the data. Okay, and to speed up this process a little bit, I always use the 24 hour step. So I see each day only once. Let me just shift this a little bit so we can see a full day. And now when I press start, you will see it jumps directly to the next day. I can speed it up again a little bit. And now we see each day once and we can spot any errors. If you just look at one side, we always see the weekend and see very fast if something is shifted in time or a day is of very poor quality. And another thing I like to do is to compare the custom symbol data with the data from my broker or even with other data providers. So I just align the charts so that my custom symbol is on top and another data source is on the bottom. Now to align both symbols, I just press the link charts button on the data editor. And now you can see both symbols move together and you even get a second crosshair on the second chart. Okay, now I will just let the data editor scroll through the data and I will make sure every day looks fine. There are no weird bars or errors and there is no hour missing at the start or the end of the weekend. Okay, and if I see anything, I would just pause 
and delete a few candles for example or maybe also the whole day okay and to give you an example let's just jump to christmas 2021 during christmas this may be normal but if i see such a day in june for example and the other data source looks fine for that day i may to consider to delete the whole day you can do this by just selecting a few bars and entering a start a specific start and end time so that the whole day gets selected and now you can just press delete now if we create a new file later this day won't make it into the new file and gets deleted you can also delete specific bars if you want to delete these three bars we just select them press delete and you can also shift some bars or a day in time or even a whole week or month by just using the shift button and you can set the hours you want to shift for you can also delete a day for example for every year let's say you want to delete the first day of every year of course we have here only one year of price data but if you have 10 years you will get 10 edits and also if you want to delete a specific bar for example for each day let's say your data provider has a bad bar at the start of each day you can then just select this bar and press daily and now you will get a edit for every day and if you want to save your edits you can just save them into a file and later on you can then just load them again by pressing the load edits button select the file okay let's say we have looked through all data and we are now at the end of our data file at the current day now the first thing i would do is to save all our edits to a file and now the next step would be to create a new data file with all the changes we have made but before we do this i will show you in the next video how to record live spread from your broker so that we can use this live spread and implement it into our new data file so this is in my opinion the best way to get the back tests as close as possible to live market conditions if we just use the live spread from our broker and implement it into our data file okay if you have any other questions about the data editor or about any other topic just write a comment and i will see you in the next video bye